Well, now, a few months back, Dirk and I, and, and probably the rest of the manufacturing world, uh, were in Chicago for, uh, for IMTS. And you know, while we were there, uh, we had a chance to see a, uh, a really interesting use of augmented reality, AR technology, from MARPOS. And this is their iWave 2 handheld wireless gauge, uh, again, with augmented reality technology. And Dirk is going to get a close-up look at it uh, for that equipment from Matteo Zoin, uh, MARPOS Senior Manager and Head of New Market Development. So take it away, guys. Uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, as Mike said, uh, with me uh, in the studio today is Matteo from uh, MARPOS. And Matteo, before we actually uh, get into uh, the product that you're going to show us today, uh, the iWave 2 and augmented reality and so forth, why don't you just tell us a little bit about MARPOS and, and uh, kind of what, you, what you're doing and, and how that all ties into uh, kind of the future of metrology, so to speak. Sure. So MARPOS supply high precision measurement, uh, inspection and process control systems uh, across all the industries. Uh, our mission is to develop and offer and bring to market innovative uh, measurement components, uh, products and machines uh, for uh, focusing on the needs of end users and system integrators uh, across all markets. And today I'm here to show you one of our breakthrough solutions uh, develop integrating our leading edge technologies that, uh, and one of them is the augmented reality. Augmented reality, okay, which we hear a lot about. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, uh, more and more we hear more and more about, about augmented reality and how it ties into, uh, and that's what we're, we're going to look at a, at a system today that, in, that encompasses several different pieces that tie into augmented exactly. reality, right? Okay. Exactly. We can start uh, talking about the two wireless board gauge. Okay. This device that they are standing in their inductive charging station, uh, they are completely sealed IP67. And they basically they ensure that uh, there is no production stop to replace batteries or charging these batteries. Yeah, and I've, I've, you, you mentioned wired. We've actually had these on the show before. And uh, what's really interesting about these is, as you mentioned, they're, they're wireless, but not wireless just in terms of communicating data. Uh, but because they're completely sealed, they're also wireless charging. There's no power cord that plugs exactly. in. Exactly. Which allows them to be, what you say, IP67? 67. IP67. So protection, so complete sealed, protection, yeah. yes, uh, from yeah. water and coolant. Uh, and what is another characteristic that uh, makes this product uh, really flexible uh, is the fact that uh, you can replace the nose piece. So this product is used uh, to perform a dimensional check. In this case, uh, just for this, tip, this type of application inside diameter, it can be outside, just replacing uh, what is the nose piece. Okay. And this device, uh, like you said correctly, is communicating uh, through Bluetooth uh, low energy with our uh, measurement software, Quick SPC. Okay. Our software is able to elaborate and do like uh, the basic uh, statistical process control analysis but also, more important in, for this type of application, uh, create the connection and interact uh, with any device implementing the augmented reality. Okay. And that's what we're going to look at now, right? Yeah. Okay. Before okay. Uh, looking uh, specifically on this type of application, I'd like to introduce you uh, more about the augmented reality. What so augmented reality is. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. So in the world of the industrial Internet of Things, where Marpos is a great uh, strategic partner, we have different, uh, we hear every day talking about uh, machine learning, uh, mm, artificial intelligence, uh, virtual reality and augmented reality. All of them, uh, they are basically helping uh, all of us uh, to manage all the big data that are coming uh, and we are available uh, through our manufacturing processes. And uh, in this way, we are helping also our customers to improve their productivity, their quality, their cost. And what is doing augmented reality is adding more data to the context. Okay. So basically, on what you see through the glasses, you will see much more. You will see other information. So just give me uh, like a, an example. So already this augmented reality is implemented in different fields, like in medical, in the military, in the manufacturing, for assembling, for rendering materials. And uh, in this case, uh, with this application, where we have uh, an example, this one is a manufacturing part uh, that is a cylinder head of an engine, okay. but can be any type of part. Uh, we are helping uh, the operator uh, to go through a step sequence, uh, so carry out any operation in a shorter time, uh, thereby avoiding any mistake uh, without training. Okay. So, I mean, ju just, just to clarify a little bit, 
augmented reality versus virtual reality. With augmented reality, you're, you're, let's say through your glasses, you're actually seeing the actual, you're looking through regular glasses, it's just glasses, and you see through and you see your, your actual objects and your tools and so forth. But overlaid on top of that can be digital information, it could be text, it could be pictures, it right. could be arrows, it could be anything you want. Yes. And that's superimposed on top of what you're actually what you're actually looking at, right? Exactly. Okay. More data to make it m more meaningful. Okay. And uh, just to give you an example, uh, if you think about uh, in the new cars, uh, the driver, sometimes in the windshield, they have the head-up display with all this sure. type of information that are helping the driver to drive carefully and better. So they're looking through the windshield, but they're seeing information in front of them at the same time. And this is the same, okay, same okay. concept. Okay. Through the smart glasses, uh, we, we are seeing uh, like uh, our part uh, with all this additional information uh, that it can uh, make more meaningful uh, what we have in front of us as a contest. Okay. Just uh, to say that uh, this uh, augmented, the augmented reality can be implemented also through a smartphone or a tablet, uh, but just with wearable devices like those smart, uh, smart glasses, uh, really we use, uh, we exploit the big advantage that the fact that the operator is hands free. Okay, sure. So we can start. Uh, so you put on the goofy looking glasses? Yes. <laughs> and we turn on uh, our devices. Uh, and uh, when you turn those on, now those glasses are communicating via Bluetooth yes. to, to a, a computer that's off to the side somewhere. Basically, with this device, uh, there is an Android base, uh, like our phone. Uh, there is an app that automatically starts the communication with our measurement software. Okay. And uh, once it starts, uh, it's going to show us uh, exactly okay. which is the end yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me take a look here. To grab. Okay, so I put these on. Okay. Okay, sure. So I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing all the objects in front of me, but I'm seeing some text, and also I'm seeing uh, some blue sparkles over the tool, which I understand means that that's, that's the instruction that's telling me to pick up this tool, or if yes. I'd seen sparkles over here, it would be telling me to pick up that tool. Exactly. Okay. Like now that is running a video okay. where one of uh, my colleagues is grabbing this handle and performing uh, Exactly. So that's what you would, th that's what, this is a video, but that's what you would see through the glasses itself. Right. Okay. So you'd see that text at the bottom, you'd see your hand coming through because you're actually looking through the glasses. Okay. And you can customize uh, okay. the text, uh, you can customize any of this information okay. going through. Now it's flashing, it's, it's actually telling him where to put that probe to measure. It's superimposing that digital yeah. information on top of the image. Okay. Perfect. Uh, and is now it's grabbing uh, the second one, handle, and perform the steps required. Obviously, this is just an example. We can create uh, any type of application with any type of devices, uh, add ma many, many of them, uh, many more uh, Yeah, many we're, just steps. Using, we're, we're just using those two particular yeah. measurement tools, but you could, you could use anything. In right? the end, uh, what is very useful, you have uh, the measure summary with all the measurements uh, oh, okay. and your direct feedback uh, on the of the part. Okay, so when, when they're done, all that information then is projected inside the glasses. Yes. That, that summary information is projected inside the glasses. So they would know whether that part, yep. they could know immediately whether that part passed or mm -hmm. failed at that point, right? Yeah. yeah. So basically, the operator has an immediate, immediate uh, real-time uh, feedback uh, about the part, uh, if it's like a good or scrap. Okay, uh, that's, that's interesting. Now, you don't have to use these specific glasses, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's I any company's smart glasses, as long as they can communicate right. with, with the MARPOS software, right? Exactly. Okay. As a MARPOS, what we offer and we develop are the gauging system, and we offer also the capability to develop the interface uh, through a client uh, between our measurement software and uh, another part that is related to the hardware and software for uh, this device, in, in this case, smart glasses. So okay. any software house, uh, any other, can work uh, on uh, DIOS uh, and uh, develop the application according to the needs of the customers. Uh, and we have the capabilities to interact, uh, to exchange messages uh, and guide uh, 
and you operate through this sequence. Okay. And so are you seeing a lot of interest in this type of, uh, this type of technology from, from your customers? Yeah, uh, we, we have to think that the factory metrology is the goal uh, is uh, to speed up the processes, uh, avoiding uh, any loss of information, uh, any loss of accuracy. And uh, for that reason, uh, exactly a year ago, we developed, uh, based on one of uh, the needs uh, with, um, collected through many customers, uh, the first application, a peak by light, where a laser beam was helping the, the operator to grab the right handle. Oh, it would just point to the right handle and, and, and exactly. tell them where to go. Okay. But this was not uh, sufficient uh, to create uh, really an application similar to the augmented reality because the operator still needs uh, the help uh, to have a feedback through a uh, computer with uh, the our measurement software. Sure, a little computer would have to be sitting there with a screen somewhere, yeah. Whereas the big step forward with the augmented reality is the fact that all these information are staying in the same context, in the same screen. Okay. And so, um, what else is going on with, with, with MarPOS in terms of keeping in touch with newer technologies like augmented reality and so forth going down the line in order to meet the needs of, uh, of your uh, future yeah. customers? In this world, like I said, of an industrial Internet of Things, uh, MarPOS is always act uh, like a pioneer, uh, like uh, finding uh, a new ways uh, of uh, streamlining, uh, streamlining uh, the customer operation manufacturing. And we are always doing this one, trying to find uh, the right blend uh, between experience uh, and innovation. So okay. we usually say that we are uh, one partner for many solutions. All right. Well, Matteo, thanks for showing us, thanks for showing us augmented reality uh, for inspection using uh, the iWave 2, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, and there you have it. Yes, as Dirk mentioned with Matteo, that is the iWave 2 with uh, augmented reality and held wireless gauge. Really interesting tech corner there from, uh, from Matteo of Marpos along with Dirk. Dirk, nice job as Thank always. You. Yeah.